Speaking of ass whippings, uh, I, I always enjoy watching the sheer stupidity uh, of two people, Donald Trump and Candace Owens, together. Uh, but it was uh, quite hilarious to watch uh, this idiot Candace Owens interview Donald Trump and even he have to smack down her uh, stupidity when it comes to uh, the vaccine. Uh, y'all know I never, I, I don't give a damn about Candace Owens. I think she's one of the dumbest people uh, you've ever seen uh, in the world. She's a grifter. Uh, and matter of fact, her stupidity is only matched by the stupidity of Donald Trump. And so let's just call this segment uh, the stuck on stupid segment. And so we got to get a kick out of watching these two idiots talk to each other. Y'all listen to this exchange. In terms of big pharma, which is a huge topic on the minds of, of mothers, especially you're seeing what's happening at these school board meetings. Where do you stand on these vaccine mandates? And obviously, I know that you are you are pro-vaccine, obviously, you did everything you could to get this vaccine out. I know it was one of the, the greatest vaccine. achievements. We did it in less than nine months. To and be able to do that. Yeah, but where, so but now it's taken years. a twist, right? It's, it's gotten, now we went from, this is a good thing and people should have this option mm -hmm. to military men, you're going to have to resign yeah. because you're not getting this vaccine. Where do you stand yeah. on that? Well, I stand on, forget about the mandates that people have to have their freedom, but yeah. at the same time, the vaccine is one of the greatest achievements of mankind. We would have had a 1917, remember the Spanish flu, killed perhaps 100 million people. Actually, it ended the First World War because the soldiers, were, so a lot of people don't know that, the soldiers got so sick, it was a terrible thing. There were no vaccines, there were no anything. I came up with a vaccine, with three vaccines, mm -hmm. all are very, very good. Came up with three of them in less than nine months. It was supposed to take five to 12 years. And yeah, we more saved, people have died under COVID this year, by the way, yeah, under Joe Biden, right. than under you. And more people took the vaccine this year. So people are questioning how- Well, no, the vaccine worked, but yeah. some people aren't taking it. The ones, the ones that get very sick and go to the hospital are the ones that don't take the vaccine, but it's still their choice. And if you take the vaccine, you're protected. Look, the results of the vaccine are very good. And if you do get it, it's a very minor form. People aren't dying when they take the vaccine. What about they, the masking of children? That's that's a big I, one for moms right now. I think it's a right terrible now. thing. I think it's a terrible thing. That flies in the face of science. The kids have a virtual 0% right. chance of dying of COVID. And yet they're insisting on these vaccine mandates. I mean, I'm sorry, on these um, the masking masks, mandates. Yeah. And now the, even the vaccine mandates for small children. Right. And what's going on there? I think what's happening is you look at the masks where... Fauci and a lot of other people said masks don't mean anything. All of a sudden, he becomes a radical masker. I don't like to see the kids with the masks on. They're sitting in school. They have a hard enough time sitting in school. It's like China. I've been it's, to China. Uh, well, and yet China's education system is a hell of a lot better than ours. You know what? They're rated <laughs> number two or three, and we're rated number 44. But masking children, I mean, no, that, the way it looks, right? It doesn't look like a free country. I'm, uh, I'm against it. Reese, you got to enjoy that, done, that idiot. <laughs> well, I, let me say, because, you know, she gets dragged for her, um, you know, non-trimmed burnt edges all the time. Her hair is looking better. Her makeup is looking better. She's not sounding any more intelligent. Um, she, it's, it's, you know, it's bad when Trump is the one who make a little bit more damn sense. I mean, he was talking about how China has a better education system, That's how the vaccine <laughs> is the greatest thing. It's like glitching the matrix. What is happening? Um, and so it wasn't going according to plan. I don't know who initiated this, but the, the interview definitely did not go according to plan. And I'm loathe to give Donald Trump credit for anything because he is, people forget so quickly, he is the most destructive politician who has, who has led to the degradation that we see today in terms of having a fact-based, science-based discourse in our society. Um, but in this case, he just so happened to, you know, keep it somewhat real. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's actually really laughable that somebody of her low stature and caliber and intelligence level was given the platform, even though I don't hold Trump in high regard, he is still a former president, as opposed to journalists, particularly black journalists, who are much more informed and, um, you know, maybe some of them wouldn't want to sit down with Trump, but it just goes to show when you buck dance and you grift for, you know, white supremacists, then you get doors open that really shouldn't be open because you're not equipped. And she's not equipped. And uh, at least, at least Trump somewhat had his wits about him in that interview for a change. This fool Greg try to say 
oh, the vaccine is killing people and more of them are dying under Biden. And he's like, Max is the unvaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that was quite a clip. I mean, I guess, first of all, in, in, ter in terms of Donald John Trump, he's <clears throat> looking at her and we all know what he's saying. Uh, Candorosa, I mean, uh, I'm a, what, in other words, all black women the same Donald Trump. He and uh, you know, and so I can't even mm. imagine what was going through his head as he's trying to check her. But I don't know where her web based uh, talk show is. But the theme music should be, although he probably charged him out the nose for the uh, license and fee to use it. Uh, it should be from Sean Carter uh, and his sample. I'm a hustler, baby, and I want you to know <laughs> that's where, been, that's where I'm about to go. This is two hustlers trying to figure out a way to game each other. It's a, it, it's almost like you were watching. Yeah, you know, you watch babies talk to one another. And can't nobody else understand what they're saying, but the two babies seem to be understanding what each other is saying perfectly well. That was an exercise in I am the one. No, I am the one. This fool talking about he created the vaccine. 100 million people there. Donald Trump can't let anybody displace his sense that he is at the center of his universe. Candace Owens is looking for the same thing in a point of entry. Mm -hmm. So basically what you end up with is a couple of babble. And when you, as you say, you put race and sex over it, Donald Trump ain't never met a black woman he didn't hate. And then probably deep, deep, deep in his little tiny uh, essence desire. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that was an exercise mm -hmm. in all the pathologies in the United States of America. And it was quite entertaining. Uh, Faraji? I would only laugh if people didn't follow both of them. Hmm. The fact that people follow the President Trump, the fact that people follow Candace Owens, the fact that we we are legitimately talking about this man being, you know, running for president in 2024 in spite of all of the the cluster Fs of of his presidency and his life, at, you know, up to this point. If people didn't follow him, this would be funny. This would be like, "Oh, okay, this is just something to laugh about." But the fact that people follow him, the fact that January 6th happened, the fact that we are, he's starting his own cable network show, his neighbor network. He, the fact that uh, Candace Owens is, has some influence and power, all of these things is, is shows us that we are in a different America. And this is what we're talking about when we say the breakdown of democracy. This is what we're talking about when we're saying how serious the time is. We can't let our foot up off the gas when it comes to figuring out how we're going to carve out for ourselves as a people something for ourselves from this American apple pie. Because we can't put our faith in this situation. We can't even put the faith in a fully in the system because the system is not even taking a man like Donald Trump and penalizing him and punishing him for all that he has done. We all waiting for the, for the shoe to drop on Donald Trump. And guess what? Every time news about his, his associates come out and people getting, you know, arrested, people getting charged and all of these things, we like on like bated breath, like, oh, it's Donald Trump next. And guess what? It never gets back to him. And this is the same system that we supposed to believe has our best interest. This is the same system that, that we want to put our faith in. And then, you know, when we're talking about the vaccines, we're talking about all of this. Now we're seeing the CDC came out and said that 79 percent of the Omicron uh, um, uh, that oh, the Omicron cases are with vaccinated people. So now it go, the, the narrative changes again. Oh, it's now it's not the pandemic of the unvaccinated. It's a pandemic that we all fit. Come on. This is a bunch of bullshit. And it's sad because why? The human lives are being politicized. We are like in recent, you said the matrix, and I saw the matrix yesterday. We are in that matrix. We are being used. We are being bamboozled, as Michael Mech said. We are just being just pushed around, and we got to wake up to the fact that this is the modern day America that we're currently living in. This is a very, very serious and dangerous time that we're living in. And it, as much as we want to laugh, as much as I want to say this man is an idiot. And much as us don't have a love or really, you know, anything for Candace Owens, the fact is people are following and listening to them and more importantly, believe in their vision of America. Dr. Bowen, my unfiltered video in just one moment.
Time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own. A black man <laughs> owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?